Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 40. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're going to be taking part in the Mitsubishi owners meeting now. I've got a uh, Evo 9. Uh, starting off with Twin Ring Mategi, moving on to Ladera, Maple Valley, and then Sakuba. Let's get going. All right, Mategi. Mategi circuit. Twin Ring Mategi. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I don't care. There's actually quite a few tracks in Japan that I would love to go around. Ah, uh, do you know what? Like, we should do... Uh, one day in my life, I want to do a Japanese pub crawl, but instead of it being pubs, it's fucking... <laughs> racetracks. You just go from racetrack to racetrack. That'd be fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie, though, this uh, Mitsubishi is really nice to drive. By the way, obviously, the Evo 9 is better than the Evo 10. I think, in my opinion, the best Mitsubishi to ever exist is the Evo 9, in terms of just looks. In terms of historic value, I think either the Evo 4 or the Evo 5. I'm not sure which one was the championship winning one. But whichever one it was, I, I want to say Evo 5. Because they then made the Hakkinen. Was that Hakkinen? I'm not sure. They made the special rally car afterwards. I still can't believe how mad that Ypres rally was. Last weekend. That rally was crazy. There were four crashes in it. By the way, I'm not I'm not concerned about spoilers. If you've missed it, you've missed it at this point. Highlights and everything have been out publicly for quite some time. It's not like Formula One where you've got to wait till the evening to watch it. It's like the day after. You've you've had plenty of time to watch it. Spoilers are off the table. Same with Formula One. By Monday, spoilers are not in the question. Not bad. Not bad. We has one more lap to do. This is a new age.
the only one. Ah, come on, stop under steering like a bitch. There we go, not bad. Coolio, saving ghost. I'll take my money. Eight grand. Uh, so we now have a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Rally Art. That's for Mitsubishi only. This animal. BBS rims. I love the fact that these Mitsubishis have BBS rims as well. It's like BBS rim. I, I don't know why. I have a love. I have a passion for BBS rims. Fucking love them. They're like the best looking rims. Because they're simple. They're nothing fancy, but they look good. Yeah, but you wouldn't put a winky face on that. You would just say... They're gonna wear out. Or something like that. You would not put a winky face on that. There's a hidden meaning. As soon as anyone puts a winky face on a message, there's a hidden meaning. That's what the winky face is for. Somebody get me through this nightmare. I mean, unless you speak a completely different language to English, in which case, then sure, maybe. The winky face has always meant a hidden meaning. You know. Ah, yeah, we totally... You know. <laughs> this animal. I love this song so much. Okay. Point proven. Like I said. <laughs> I knew there was a euphemism behind it. And I really did not need to know. It's not the real me. Somebody help me take the cinema. Get your ass back! Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, fuck. I wonder how long it's going to take before we start getting into race cars. We're probably going to be all the way up to, like, episode 80 or something before we start getting into prop. Actually, no. It'll probably be earlier this time because we've got one fairly early on. I think we'll probably be up to episode... 30, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll be up to about... Uh, uh, episode 30 by the time we get into... Uh, race cars. To the bottom of the ocean. Took a ride, I took a ride. Wouldn't go there without you. Is it you? This song was actually used on a tribute video for Colin McRae. Which, if you want to find out what that uh, tribute video is, I actually have a video of it on, um... Uh, my YouTube already. It's the final episode of the Dirt 2 series. And it's completely demonetized because this song's in it, but I couldn't remove it from the tribute. It means too much. Yeah, for me, that would be a red flag. If all of a sudden I was talking to someone and then they were like, oh, we're going to travel everywhere. Whether I'd known them for ages or not, but I'd only just settled back in with them or whatever. Nah, red flag. Three red flags. I'm going to get my kidneys sold on the black market. And my intestine as well, probably. Actually, I don't think my intestine would sell very well. 
It's full of shit. Ha <laughs> ha! That was a shit pun. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wow, wow. Yeah, no, for me, it'd still be a red flag. Like, I don't know about you, but I am not getting rid of my kidneys or my lungs or anything just yet. If I get hit by a bus, then sure, you can give them away. I don't care. I ain't going to use them. <laughs> While they're still inside me, while my eyes are still blinking, I fucking need them. <laughs> what do you mean, why? What do you mean, why? You ain't got your lungs, you're fucking dead. <laughs> That's such a dumb response to that. <laughs> oh, wow. And why is it a red flag? Because you take things slow, not just straight up dive into the deep end, you know, go especially like with an X like no matter how I've seen women change and be like, oh I'm so friendly and yeah, no, that wouldn't sit with me if they all of a sudden turned around and said, oh you know we mentioned this, we should do it next week let's go, or whenever no, fuck off not even in a few months, like if they mentioned that straight away I'd be concerned why are you all of a sudden coming back and then all of a sudden wanting to go away? Who have you got? Who, who, what black market contacts have you got? Like, shit like that. It, it creep me out. By all means, if you want to live life on the edge, do random shit. By all means. Do, 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 do. I like the way you used to do. Oh no, that makes sense. Ah, you do steady. Still wouldn't sit right with me. I mean, by all means, you do you. You live life on the edge. It wouldn't be fucking me doing that. my ex was to turn around and say, yo, let's get back together. I already would have said no to that as, as it was. Like, why the fuck would you leave me in the first place? <laughs> like, why would you leave? Come back? And if I left, well, clearly I didn't want it. Don't come back. Kind of vibe. So that already wouldn't be happening. And then... Also, it wouldn't happen because of the fact that I would be very concerned why they'd want to even mention, Oh, let's go away! I mean, again, by all means, you do you. Clearly, America's a different country, but... Yeah, in the UK, nah. If that was even a possibility, I would be the one planning absolutely everything. I wouldn't let them get a say. Just because of that risk of maybe having my kidneys solved. <laughs> wouldn't plan let let them plan at all. <laughs> yeah, that still doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I've seen how crazy women can get. They're a special breed. <laughs> of 
They are a special breed. Hey, there we go. We've got 10% discount on differential upgrades by Kuska. All right, here we go. Sue Cooper. I like those Mitsubishi. It's a weird thing, though. I could do a YouTube series just of me ranting about topics. Because I rant so much on stream. I didn't even realize this until, like... I have a rant once a week, guaranteed. Like, it, it'd be a good podcast idea, Mech Rant. Where he rants about anything the world is fucked up about. I just don't think I get the Spotify viewers or, like... If the view count is good enough for people listening to me rant, then maybe I might do it. That's like a, uh, what's it called? I'll make a second channel on YouTube and I'll post like rant clips. Should I do that, actually? Make a Mechanic CG Shorts channel? I don't know. I think it'd be funny. <laughs> it wouldn't be too hard to edit because, like, my webcam's fairly square. And I just take, like, the middle part of the video. Yeah. So, here's the thing. I found that people, when they become TikTok famous, think that they're proper famous. Like, TikTok is a fairly throwaway career. Getting 100,000 views isn't much. I know someone who has had 200,000 views on a TikTok, and their latest TikToks, like, this would have been, like, a year and a bit ago when they did it, their TikToks now get 20 views. That's it. My TikTok account that has 300 followers gets more views per TikTok than theirs. And they have more views overall. It's just how TikTok is. It's not a very viable on its own platform. Uh, as, as for my scenario, I, I don't like going into mine, but... Yeah, when, when it was me... Um... I did get cheated on and shit like that. It, it was a shit experience for me. Clearly not for her, but I mean, that kind of makes sense. But yeah, it was a really shit experience for me. It was like I've been stabbed in the chest. Is what it is. Can't really hold grudges or hold on to it for too long because if you do, it just fucks you over. Like I'm not, I'm not in the position where I want to look for like a relationship or anything because. Me and myself, not ready. Yeah. Here's the thing. I take multiple risks as it is. I don't like having the risk knowing that someone... I, I risk it with someone once. That's all I do. I, I'm not going for a second time. I'm not double dipping. I'm not... I learned that once. Double dipping never works. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, when it comes to me with social media, I will agree I am for the fun at the moment. I would like for it to be a career so I don't have to worry about job, money, anything like that. Um, and to be honest, for me, financially, a thousand dollars a month is enough. A lot of people would want more. For me, my number is a lot lower. Because I know I'm not looking to get a new house or anything like that because the housing market is fucking ridiculous at the moment in the UK. Mercedes-Benz has sent me a SL65 AMG Blank series. Nice. Hey, Death Ray, what's up? Welcome. We got 11 grand for that and we got a Mercedes-Benz. I also need to turn a light on because it is pitch black. All right, V-Dub Club. 
Starting off with Circuit de Catalunya, Ladera Test Track, Iberian International, and then Twin Ring. Let's go. Yeah, like, I have no problem with Lewis Hamilton. I think he is a bloody... A lot of people hate on him, but I think that's just because he's been so successful. People are like, I don't want to see him be successful anymore. Which is fair enough. But you can't really hate on a bloke for being the best in Formula 1 that Formula 1's ever had. When he's doing his job. Don't even think he's copying Senna aggression. Because, let's be honest, like, there are a lot of crashes that have happened that have been, oh yeah, Max is, yeah. But like, I mean, again, I think that's partly Jos Verstappen's fault, because Jos Verstappen is like, he's like that abusive father that you sort of just have to do what he says, otherwise he's going to beat your ass. Jos Verstappen's an absolute arsehole. Yeah. Like, I think I think people are just hating on Lewis because he's successful. But, like, the Dutch Formula 1 fans, not all of them, but a majority of them, are absolute arseholes. The ones that are... do act like arseholes on Twitter of the Dutch fans, they are vile people. Absolutely nasty. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I'm British, but I hate British fans on Twitter because a majority of British Formula One fans are vile and nasty on the internet. And it's just made Formula One such a toxic community. I couldn't... Watching it meant I couldn't communicate about it because there are, there are Dutch fans, there are... I don't know about German fans. But the the Dutch fans are just vile. A majority of them. There are some that are nice, but... I mean, even, even the ones that... Yeah. Kimi and NASCAR. I, I hope he do, does good. Or did good. I'm not sure if it's happened yet or not. But I know it's... Is it this weekend or last weekend? But yeah, it just sucks. Again, like I say, he crashed. Oh no! <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, so, and again, trying to discuss F1, everyone would always think like, people who didn't do sim racing would always seem to have an input and say, oh yeah, it's this guy's fault, it's this guy's fault. I've done sim racing, I know driving etiquette to the point that you can tell when someone has been an asshole. Whenever anyone crashes in Formula 1, you can't blame someone. It's very rare that they do penalise someone if someone crashes out. So at that point, no matter what a Formula 1 fan says, it's not going to fucking do anything. But, like, that Silverstone incident was 60% Max's fault because Lewis had got up far enough on his inside that he should have seen him. Those mirrors on a Formula 1 car aren't as blind spot as you think. You can see a car a lot more behind you than you can beside you. So if the car was behind him, he'd know he could move over. So... Majority of the fault in that Silverstone crash in 2021, that was Max's fault, majority. Like, that's just racing. If you've raced before, you know that's where the fault lies in, as a majority. When it comes to the um, Monza crash, that's too close. It's 50-50. Max shouldn't have put the throttle on when he went on the curb. That was a rookie move. He would have got away with that entire thing if he didn't put the throttle on, but Lewis did push him side. I think maybe 60-40 towards Max again for the Monza crash, because Max should have known, 
on the curbs not to put the throttle down. Like, that's a dumb fucking thing to do. All right, here we go. Mm. Like, it is just an extremely toxic community. So toxic. I genuinely saw a comment on WRC, right? Um, and it, it, here's the difference between a WRC community and an F1 community. I was watching a WRC live stream and one person had commented. Um, oh, I wish this community was a bit more like Formula One, a bit larger, a bit... And everyone in there didn't go down his throat. They just said, nah, we don't want that toxicity here. Just a genuine just comment. Nah, it's too toxic. F1's too toxic and all that. And just left it at that. It wasn't a, oh, you're a fucking idiot. Why would you want that toxicity here? You moron. What? Like, you know. Uh, ma mathematically speaking, I think the only reason Max Verstappen had a seat initially back in 2016 was because of Jos Verstappen's money. So I think the only reason he's in Formula One is not because he worked for it like Lewis. He, he did get an easy way in. But Max Verstappen, on the other hand, Max Verstappen has proven that he's a good driver and deserves to be an F1. So I don't see it as daddy's cash for Max Verstappen. When it comes, to, like, no matter what, like, Formula One is an expensive sport. So if your parents have to pay for it or whatever, but you prove that you deserve your space, it doesn't matter. Lewis Hamilton worked for that. See? Max Verstappen... Probably got pushed up because of Jos Verstappen. But, again, proved that he was a good driver. So he deserves his seat. On the other hand, Nicholas Latifi and Lance Stroll both have had their seats paid for and are both fucking terrible drivers. End of discussion. Lance Stroll, oh my god, he's a moron. There's a, there's a bloke called... Um, uh, rocket powered mohawk. I don't know if you've seen him on YouTube. He's fucking funny. Um, and he calls um, Stroll Vich Tits because um, Stroll's name isn't actually Lance Stroll, it's Lance Strollovich. So everyone call He basically calls him Vich Tits. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But um, yeah, like Lance Stroll is just proved multiple times like by all means Lance Stroll could have had his seat bought in but as long as he was actually a competitive driver and he actually put effort into Formula 1 we wouldn't really care that much again no one really cares that Max Verstappen the fact that his dad is Jos Verstappen and that he's had influence to get him into the sport no one's really cared too much because he's proved that he was a, he's a good driver granted this year Right, I see him as a driver's world champion because he's going to win it legitimately. I still don't think that last championship was fair. So, he, but he, he he will have gotten my respect in my eyes because he's won it genuinely as well. So, sure, he's he's got two world driver's titles, but he's won one legitimately where there hasn't been any drama or there hasn't been any assistance towards his title. So... <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I I will agree. The new Charger, uh, sorry, the new Dodge Challenger, is a really cool car. A lot of people are hating on it because of the fact that it's electric, but I think I think it's fine because the rest of the formula of the Dodge Challenger is still there. I don't think it's too bad. All right, we got seven grand. Not bad. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll take that, Death Ray. <laughs> Max has been gifted a championship this year as well, but it's been by Ferrari strategy crew. <laughs> no, but seriously, that like he's genuinely earned this one because he's won. Like a normal championship. There hasn't been any sketchy decisions made by a crappy race director. <clears throat> Massey. So it's fine. By all means, all the Dutch fans are sucking Massey's dick because he won, but... Oh, 
Unbelievable. Is that your actual email? Is that an actual email that came to your email address? That's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, when it, when it comes to Dodge Challenger, like... If you've got your head that far up your ass that you can't realize that we are going to an electric future, you don't deserve to have a say on modern cars at all. Because we're going electric. Either take the... Dodge and all these car developers are making it electric and making it so you can enjoy all these cars and all these car brands, but in the modern day. Or well, don't take it and just keep your mouth shut. That's what I say. Um, because... Electric is a way forward, unfortunately. I, I do think that we still need to push for hybrid technology because I think hybrid is our best option. Because hybrid just gives us the range, the performance of electric without the weight of the battery. Um, yeah. Hydrogen power is the best option in the future, but we just don't have the hydrogen infrastructure. I got a video in my WhatsApp. Um, yeah, so. Like, I think. I'll be honest, Ford and then Mustang Marquis, that was kind of wrong because that wasn't the same car at all. The Mustang Marquis was horrendous. End of discussion. So. Uh, when it came to the Marquis, been it. That was a disappointment. That should have been called something else. It wasn't a Bronco, but they could have made a new one. Um, but yeah, when it comes to, um, what's it called? The Dodge, the fact that they made the car still look like a Challenger, just maybe a bit more modernized, you know, as if they were to just do a normal revision of the car, but instead it's just electric. I think it's good what they've done. But again, a lot of people are hating on it because it's electric, like... Get your head out your ass. We're in an electric future when it comes to cars. In what what is it? In four three years time, the British government is making it so you can't buy any brand new petrol cars. They have to be hybrid. And in seven years time, in 2030, all new cars have to be electric. I think. That's how it's done. So, if you're in the UK, you're going to be having a hybrid car in the next three years, guaranteed if you're buying a new car. And if you're buying a new car in seven years' time, it's going to be electric in the UK. End of discussion. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can change about it. So, you either suck it up and stop complaining, or complain and everyone's going to think you're an absolute moron. <laughs> like, I understand it's sad that the electric sound, the, the petrol sound, sorry, will be going, filled in with droning. No, I mean, like, every car has to be sold hybrid. There won't be any combustion-only options. That's what I mean, Kodo. Like, you won't be able to buy it without an electric motor strapped to your car. Alright, not bad. Level 4. we now got 10% discount on valves and displacement. Woohoo! Yeah, so the F-Pace Hybrid is basically a cross between the F-Pace and the I-Pace. It's basically just a in-between one. The I-Pace is just a fully electric F-Pace. The F-Pace is just a fully petrol I-Pace. They are the same car, pretty much. Um... But yeah, in 2025, I don't know whether it's the start of 2025 or by the end of 2025, that I'm not 100% sure. But I know it's at that point, 2025, every car sold must be hybrid or electric. And every car sold in 2030 must be electric. Technically speaking, hydrogen is also an electric car because it converts the hydrogen into electric power by 
chemical processes, turns it into water, you get electricity out of it, yada yada yada. Which is fair enough. I mean, I think you've got to put electricity into water to make hydrogen, if I'm not mistaken. And then once you do that, when you combine hydrogen with oxygen, you get electricity out of it. I think that's how it works. So as long as the electricity that's made, that's used to turn water into hydrogen, is green, so like solar power, wind power, whatever, you can have a fully, fully sustainable fuel source there quite easily. Uh, I mean, to be honest, if you hate electric cars, you're weird. I'll be honest, because I've been in multiple electric cars and multiple petrol cars. And what electric cars lack in the fact that there's no engine noise, it gains for excitement with handling performance. A lot of electric cars, because of the lower center of gravity, Seven minutes a car, wow. Fair enough, fair enough. The lowest center of gravity of an electric car really does help with the handling, first of all. So that's already a bonus to drive an electric. Pretty much, they're always charged in the morning as long as you're not a moron and forget to charge them overnight. If you charge them overnight... You'll have no problem just daily driving it. Won't have to worry about going to a gas station or whatever. Fuel station. If you're British. If you're American, gas station. I don't know. Don't have to worry about that. Like, electric is a lot more convenient. The only problem is road trips. But how often do people nowadays go on a road trip? Sure, if you're someone who has to go on a three-hour road trip every day for work... Sure, it might not be worthwhile getting an electric car. You might want a hybrid. But if you're... If you only do a road trip every so often, and I mean, like, every so often, like, once you get out... It's recommended while you're doing a long journey to stop every two hours for a 15-minute break, anyways. That 15 minutes that you charge your car in that stop is enough to get you to the next charging point two hours down the road. I don't understand why people have such a hatred for electric cars. Like, I think it's just because it's different. You haven't been in a Rimac Concept 1, then. I know for a fact you have not been in one if you did not notice the difference, other than the engine noise. can guarantee you that, Cotto. That is the fastest accelerating electric car, pretty much. If you didn't notice much, you have not been in one. End of discussion. You still haven't been in one. I know for a fact you have not been in one. If, if you didn't notice much. Like that thing, I would kill to get in one of those. I wouldn't, for legal reasons. But those things are phenomenal. Like, you would know the difference between a Rimac and any other car. Even a Rimac and a Tesla. Tesla can't keep up with a Rimac. That Rimac is phenomenal. Hey, not bad. I will take my rewards, thank you very much. It takes time to know where your heart is at. I love this song so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.